Look at this shit. This is black magic nonsense. Hello Facebook, YouTube, DeviantArt, and Twitter, wherever you're joining me from, thank you for tuning in. Today I really wanted to show you something pretty cool that my friend Chris D actually uh, brought to my attention recently. It's this thing called Lazy Nizumi, and what that is is a plugin for a lot of art programs, including Photoshop, and I believe it's specifically designed for Photoshop, but you can use it with other programs. But, um, you know, this isn't sponsored or anything like that, but this is a tool that I found to be very, very helpful for creating perspective scenes. So, you know, it has a lot of uses. I'll, I'll pull it up right now. Um, what's really neat about it, there's uh, a ton of different things you can do with it. Ignore that. Uh, and basically, what you can do is, for the most part, I feel like what most people seem to use it for is to... Um, is it on? Yes, now it's on. So when it's not turned on and we use uh, the brush tool, we get these like crazy little artifacts or, or whatever. But when we turn it on, it, it gets very, very smooth and, and very precise. It's almost like uh, Adobe Illustrator. It's, it's almost, it's borderline vector the way it treats things. So it's really, really cool. Uh, but that's not what I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk about the uh, perspective stuff that we have going on here. Where is it? Now I look like a doofus. Here we go. Per uh, this perspective part of the plugin. What's really awesome about it, uh, it's perfect for drafting perspective scenes. Now keep in mind, this is not something that is going to help you if you don't already have a... Uh, I mean, uh, okay, let me, let me backtrack. It can help you kind of learn a little bit about perspective, but if you don't already know the, the basic principles of it, uh, this might not help you out too much. So this specific one that I'm going to show you is two-point and three-point perspective drafting. The downside in into this is if you, for example, let's, uh, I'm going to turn this off real quick. Let's create, here's where our uh, Verizon line is going to be. I'm actually going to get a slightly darker blue. Uh, so let's create the... Uh, horizon line over there and we'll put this guy over here so you put this center uh, I guess crosshair is the best way to describe it and then you can adjust where your uh, horizon lines are gonna be going. so uh, I'm adjusting this red line over here to go a little further away and the green line to be mm, a little bit closer I don't know why it's doing this I don't know if it's because I'm just uh, recording but it's it's acting up a little bit um, but yeah so I have all this stuff in where I think eh, you know I'm gonna push it away a little bit uh, where I think it would make an interesting scene so the downside to this is I have my little crosshair on that that spot that I designated if I zoom in all of a sudden it's not there anymore the crosshair is still on the same part of the screen, but not on the same part of the canvas with Photoshop. So if there's a way around that, I'm not sure what it is, uh, but you know, it's just, this is more for the drafting process than it is for the actual creating process, uh, you know, the actual uh, rendering and all that stuff. So just something to keep in mind. Anyway, so the actual nonsense that I want to show you, and when I say nonsense, I mean amazing stuff, is that depending on what direction you're drawing, it's going to draw the line in the exact correct perspective. So we have three directions here, right? Check this out. Look at that. It's exactly where it needs to be with the perspective that we designated. And you can, you can mess around with all these settings and it'll be absolutely perfect. It'll be totally correct. So you don't necessarily have to, um, like I said, you don't have to figure everything out. You could just create grids that you want to use. You know what I mean? Like you can you can just grid out the entire thing and figure it out later. But for me, I just find it like so interesting how quickly you can have a cityscape uh, without really having to do a whole lot. Like as long as you understand the basics of perspective, you can you can get a pretty awesome scene going pretty quickly. So. You know, it might be a little boring with me not saying a whole lot right now, but I'm I'm in a fucking trance with this. This shit. Look at this shit. 
this is black magic nonsense. I mean, maybe I've just been out of the loop for a long time because I know um, the new. Uh, hmm. There we go. The new iPad has some like perspective grids and stuff like that. So you know that's that's cool and everything. So maybe I'm just kind of out of the loop or whatever. But shit, man, this is fucking cool. Like, look at this nonsense. It's doing the work for it's it's in the totally correct correct crisp, uh, crisp, correct per, I can't fucking talk man I'm t I just got over the flu so I'm a little I'm a little loopy um, but look at this nonsense this is just it's amazing like I, I'm already using this um, in a lot of my uh, drafting that I've been doing lately for for other things so already this is super interesting and it's it's quick it's easy and more importantly it's correct so not only does it look good it's correct which is always obviously very important I don't know what I'm saying right now I'm just I'm in a fucking trance by this black magic look at this look at this In five minutes, we have the cityscape drafted, and we can, you know, draw Spider-Man doing whatever the hell Spider-Man needs to be doing. So you could use this for for rooms, uh, for cities, exteriors, interiors, whatever, whatever you got to do. This is this is perfect for that. So this is two-point perspective, right? Because we have our horizon line, uh, one horizon line going. I'm sorry, not horizon line. I can't. I think I can't think of the terminology. I'm gonna do a whole video on you know the, the principles of perspective at some point. Um, so I will be sure to not have brain farts when I'm recording. I just really wanted to share this with you guys because this shit is amazing. Um, and yeah, in a matter of and you can get super detailed. You know, you can make apartment buildings and put air conditioners hanging out the side. You can go crazy with this, and it, it'll it'll work. It'll work. So, that's one. Uh, you can also do three-point perspective, which is pretty crazy, because you can have this little vertical tilt here, right? Which is your third point of perspective now. It's absolutely crazy. So, your your um, your third point is, is down here, and now it's... I don't know how well you can see it, but if we... In a new one. Now, your... Uh, vertical lines aren't perfectly vertical because you you messed around with the uh, the settings for it so now you can take full advantage of that and make third point yeah you know, perspective shots it's crazy this shit is crazy I feel like I feel like I'm so old because I'm, I'm just like oh technology when I was a little girl, you used to ride the trolley, and Frankfurters cost a nickel. Like, this is crazy. Look at this shit. And all you gotta do is shut it off, and that's it. It's there, man. This is absolutely crazy. Wow. And, for those of you who are saying, Oh, well, that's cool, but, like, I like to do a lot of one-point perspective. Well, guess what? You can do that, too. I believe it's isometric. Is it isometric? I don't remember. Oh. oh no, this is cool. Look at this. Look at this. You can have all all crazy lines going in the same direction. I think these were parallel lines. Hang on a minute. There was another one. One of the first things I had. Radial lines, I think, right? Yeah, okay, so this is one point. I'm sorry. Get your point to where you want it to be, and then all of us. Oh nope, that wasn't right. Okay, and, on. and now every single line is gonna come from that same point. So this is cool for like a shot where someone's charging at the camera, or straight up perspective. You know what I mean? So let's say. 
There, there's uh, some easier ways sometimes to to draft perspective grades and stuff like that. So I don't know how useful this is for one point, but I think it's pretty nifty. Um, and again, I want to stress, don't use this as a crutch. Use it as a tool. You know what I mean? Like you should have, you should, you should learn how to do perspective the old-fashioned way first. So that A, I guess you'll have an appreciation for this, and B, you'll you'll be able to use this a lot more effectively if you understand how perspe uh, perspective works. And again, that's something that I promise that I will help you guys out. So now, all of a sudden, if you want to draw a room, so go there to there. Now we have, you know, the in inside of a cube or whatever, a room, in the correct perspective because of that cool, this cool little, uh, fancy little thing. Actually, I probably should have just done that, boop. Yep, derp, derp. Hey, you can do it as much as you want. And that shit will be in the exact correct perspective for one point. Pretty neat, man. Pretty neat. Let's get some tiles on the floor or whatever. It's not perfect, um, but it is pretty awesome, I gotta say. Definitely helpful. Alright, just wanted to show you guys that little trick, and I will see you guys soon.